What's going on, CTI fam? Today is April 16th, 2024. We are here in Granite City, Illinois, at the Department of Motor Vehicle Facility. Uh, this is the Secretary of State uh, facility. And yeah, guys, we're gonna go in here and exercise our First Amendment right to record in the publicly accessible areas inside that lobby. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, we are just traveling around the state of Illinois. Uh, just got out of Missouri. We're going to keep on traveling and keep on uh, enjoying what we're doing here, exercising our rights and standing up for our freedoms. If you guys like the content you're seeing, uh, please smash the like, share, and subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that come on and stop by the channel. Yeah, guys, we're doing some positive things, making positive differences. So if you want to become uh, part of that, just uh, smash that subscribe button. Become part of the CTI fam. So let's go in here, do what we do. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Were you asked to leave? Uh, leave public property? One thing I like to point out before going inside here is it is a very, very windy day. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the clouds are pretty dark. Uh, there's a storm coming. Um, it's actually pushing north, so it's kind of uh, missing us a little bit. Uh, but we are definitely getting the backside of that with all the winds and whatnot. It hasn't rained or anything, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to point out the flag is uh, blowing pretty hard there, but I love to see it. It's uh, in good shape. So yeah, guys, let's go inside. Stay tuned like to point out the facility hours here, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5.30, and they are open on Saturdays from 8 to 12. All right. This facility is uh, appointment only. But yeah, guys, we're not uh, looking to do any services like that. Recording or photography of any type is not allowed in this facility, guys. So, uh, Hi. how you doing? How can I help you? Uh, I don't need any help right now. Thank you. Okay, there's no cam there's no cameras allowed in here. Oh, there isn't? Mm -mm, not uh, even in the entryway. Why is that? Because it's against the law. Where does uh, there be RS or anything on there? Recording for or not of any type is allowed. It's allowed, ma'am. This is a public facility. Not in here because we have private information of customers. Yeah, but you guys are responsible for hiding that information. It shouldn't be out in plain view site. It's not. Well, then you shouldn't have it's a word not. then. Well, I'm sorry, but I've been to I've been to um, DMVs all over the state. Illinois, and Missouri, mm -hmm. whatnot. I'm allowed to go in there and, and for, for uh, for do some photography. Yes, but with this they line, they all have, they all they all have signs, but that signs doesn't that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't supersede the does constitution. Size. You're it actually really blocking does. somebody trying to get out. Sorry about that, sir. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a little story about your facility here. I'm sorry, I can't let you in, sir. I will call my manager. And okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to come right. I don't want to block anybody. So You'll have to step outside with that camera. All right, guys. Yeah. Sir, step out here because you cannot. There's no recording. Absolutely none. Come on, baby. Are you guys like a special on, facility here? Um, Step out this way. Uh, I'm, I feel good right here. I don't no, want to block no, anybody. No, 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 no. Step out here. I don't want to block anybody. No, 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 no. In step, step out here. Uh, no, thank no, you. No, no, step out here. No, thank the you. The police is getting ready to be called. Oh, step that, out that's here. That's fine. Come on. No recording. That's our sign, dear. You got to Yeah, that's just the, that's just a sign. It, it's our policy. It's step not law, out, though. Step out here. Yes, it is. Uh, no, thank step you. Step out here. Okay. So while she's calling Mary, I'll call the police. You got to go check. <laughs> you got the uh, restrooms over here. Yeah, guys, they uh definitely misinformed. They think that sign there is the law. Uh, it is not the law. Yeah, I didn't want to step out in the lobby area there because um, I didn't want to block anybody coming in and out. So I figured standing in here would be uh, best. So. Okay, cool. You guys can uh, do a lot of your uh, vehicle work here, your tax services um, in here. So. I got my other. Yeah, I gotta get out of the way there. J 
general waiting, so. Daniel, waiting to report. We can't take no information right now. We can't build. Absolutely not. Any information. Yeah. reporting. We can't get their telephone numbers. We can do nothing about these reporting. All right, guys, you heard it. They are stopping service in here because uh, we are recording, which is uh, not good for this facility here. They are open during business hours, so uh, I don't know why they would be uh, refusing service to these people that are coming in here. They could simply just uh, whisper their, their information over to them if that's uh, that big of a deal, but they're going to refuse service to these guys coming in here. I wasn't. I was just painting the walls there. Usually, if you don't want to be recorded, you don't talk to the camera. It's common sense there. Right. Do you see the signs? Yeah, I see signs everywhere. That doesn't mean anything. No, I'm talking about recording. Yeah, yeah. It's not a law, though. It's just something somebody wrote up and posted it in your guys' facilities. I do this all over the place, so I know what I'm doing. Okay, guys, well, uh, I didn't want to go over. There's nobody in the testing area over there, uh, just some people sitting down in the waiting area. I could go over there, but uh, choose not to just because that's the uh, testing area. And if somebody were to have to go do a test, uh, can't be over in that area. So. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, he, uh, this gentleman over here actually just said that is a policy. Uh, policy is not law. We follow the law here at this uh whatever we do we do follow the law so uh, any policy that they have written doesn't trump that law now if i were to come in here and uh start getting up in people's faces and being uh loud and disorderly obviously they would be able to ask me to leave and i would actually have to leave but simply coming in here exercising my right to record in the public areas um, that's obviously not causing a disturbance or anything. They did say they would, uh, they are calling the police, so uh, we're going to stick around and wait for them to show up. Stay tuned. What I find uh, interesting is that uh, they are saying recording is illegal, but they do have uh, recording devices on their uh, walls and ceilings. So they could have a sign in here that says, uh, no, anybody with black shoes had to leave. <laughs> but that doesn't make it uh, right, make it constitutional, so. We're gonna stick around here, yeah. <laughs> Looks like uh, they're actually helping somebody up at the uh, counter there. Um, they said they would stop service, but you can see that she is actually being helped, so. At least that's good. Oh, so he's actually recording right now. Recording in here, which is a violation of the Secretary of State's policy against it. Yeah, just talk to her. I'll have you sit down. Uh, it's kind of crowded. I just had a question. Okay. I'll just come back in the morning. So. Oh. All right. Yeah, guys, they are actually refusing service to this guy here, uh, making him come back the next day. All he had was a question. And they didn't even want to answer that, so. They have a number of printers there, so they should not run out of paper, so. They have a license plate renewal bin right there. Oh, sorry, recycle bin. 
Um, if you guys want to get rid of all your plates, they would just throw it in that bin there. So that's very helpful. Yeah. What are you doing this for? I'm just doing a quick story about the facility here. But are you with a news company? I don't uh, no, want that I'm, camera. I don't want that camera at me. Huh? I, I well, you're not... talking to a guy who's recording. I know. So you're going to be on camera. Well, it's not correct. It's not correct. So. Yeah, she came up to the camera and asked me a question, but she didn't want to be on camera. What sense does that make, guys? Wow, another person they are uh, refusing service to. Yeah. Employees on the door. They have the public restrooms there. Guys, that wind is blowing really hard outside. It's a uh, actually pushing this door open. All right, guys, well, uh, as you can see, they're refusing everybody's service here. Um, so let's uh, go outside and, and look around and see how many people come in and have to come back out. All right, stay tuned. So you guys just saw um, another person just walked into the DMV facility here. Um, let's see if they actually start serving people now that I walked outside. Um, so <laughs> they called the police and we're gonna actually stick around and see if the police show up. I saw one uh, driving down the road there. Sorry for all the windows, guys. Yeah, there's a big storm coming through um, and it's uh, making the wind really blow so uh there's actually an officer on scene here all right car number uh, 29 granite city police department Looks like uh, Officer Grayson. <laughs> Can't really uh, hear it. It's probably lying to another officer on duty. Uh, I get your name and badge number? I can't hear you. Tub? No, Tub. Is it Tubbs? Okay, I couldn't really hear you because of the wind. Be professional. Be professional. How you doing? How are you? Uh, can I have your name and badge number? Yeah, Sergeant Barker, 230. Nice to meet you. Name and badge number? How are you doing? Officer Myers, 268. Nice to meet you. Officer Grayson, 217. Nice to meet you, sir. All right, sir. Yeah. Evidently, they are not allowed any recording. Uh, this is a public building? No, sir, it's a state. State, state is what? But they also stated that on signs that you cannot record inside. But it has to be, a, there, there has to be, it has to be a law. It can't just be a sign. I go all over the state. Sir. 
It's a state facility. Yeah, they have the rights to make what they say is right. Sir, it's a public building. It is a state facility, what and they have the rights. Yeah, I understand. Stay there. I, under, I understand. It's because state. you were violating other people's rights by recording information that is involved in that. Facility. First off, I wasn't recording any information. You were uh, inside with a recording device. I was not recording any information. I was recording what was on the wall was pub but publicly accessible. There is ex there's public access around. That that is why they make that law. Wait, what did you say? And that, that ruling. There's public access there around. Was personal information there you go. around the facility. Yeah. That they are concerned they can't get recorded. That is, yeah, why, they so, do, that is why they do not allow any recording. So, the facility. so they would be in charge of keeping that information confidential and hiding it from the public eye. And that is uh, why they don't allow recording. They are recording in there. What sense does that make? Because that is a still a state facility. State is public. Well, either way, they're asking you to leave the facility. Uh, are you trespassing me from this facility they here? They have asked you to trespass you from the facility, yes. And what happens if I don't leave? Then you would be arrested because they would sign a complaint for that effect. Okay, awesome. You uh, threatened me with arrest. I appreciate you. Thank I'm you. That. That is what they no, no, you're, 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 a, you're a law enforcement officer. You can't just take what they say and go they with ask, it. To, and say sign a complaint? Yes, I can. I'd have to be doing something disorderly. Recording. And right now they've asked you to leave, so that is trespass. <laughs> It's not trespassing. I'm first. I get your ooh, it's so windy. Windy out here. Well, you asked me to leave. They're trespassing. I don't know if you know how the trespassing law works, but I do have the opportunity to leave. And if I don't leave, then that's it. Uh, not right now. It's just good citizen. Okay, right now, then we're under investigation for you trespassing. So if you do that, I'm not, not trespassing that. until I leave. And, and I told you. No, no, no. I asked have, you to leave. Correct. And I, so and I, where am I at? So if you refuse to give me your information, why is this guy obstructing? Are you the, you're the sergeant? Yeah, yeah. Is this just an officer? I don't think he uh, knows how it works. But. Uh, so we used to be able to one I wasn't filming any kids. You can't just take what people say and go with it. You have to investigate. You're not investigating. So they were going to sign a thing. So really, all, all we're wanting to do is identify you. And they said they have no problem with you being out on the outside. So they don't have a problem with that. You can do that. And I'm hey, I, I I'm just letting you. I'm, I'm letting you know you're open up. You're opening up your city for a lawsuit. I do this all over the state. I do this all over the country. And I know what I'm doing. I can be in there and I can record in the publicly accessible areas under the First Amendment, which you guys swore an oath to the Constitution. Yeah, so I, I know, I know what you're doing. So I, I'm not <laughs> they can't just kick somebody. Okay, so if I were coming in there and I had black shoes on, they said you can't come in here because you have black shoes on. Would you guys enforce that? If they have something that says that. That's why it I'm has to be backed out. by the Constitution. There has to be a law yeah, against so what they are saying. Let's get back to the fact that we have someone in there who is saying that you are filming their kids. They're in public. We're addressing that complaint. Yeah, so so let me let you know. So they're in public. Anytime they're in public, they can be filmed. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Their own cameras in there. They have to make a complaint to this facility for recording that. They what? They had a problem with you doing it. The victims had a problem with you. I don't know why, sir. Yeah, no, that's that's not anything I'm doing. That like their feelings don't trump what I'm doing. So I was just letting you know. That. Yeah. You can just continue to stay out here. Is that was that your plan? My plan is to record in there uh, peacefully. There's no law against that, though. I've done this in Edwardsville. I've done this all over the place. And guess what? They all say the police go in there and educate them that I have a right to be in there. You guys are the only place that has a problem with what they say. But if you guys want to open your city up for a lawsuit, I'm just letting you know how it goes. You can stand here and make your decision today, but that's what's going to happen if you guys violate my rights. What is your name, sir? My name, I go by Good Citizen. Good Citizen? Yes. Is citizen your first name or last name? Uh, I just go by Good Citizen. You don't have a I just go by Good Citizen. Well, you don't have a Yeah, obviously everybody has a date of birth. Uh, I don't want to provide it unless I've been suspected of committing a crime. Okay, well, you have because they said they asked you to that's not committing a crime. I'm in a public. If I'm in a public leave, facility. If they ask you to leave. When you guys arrived, you where was I? You were out here, but it's in the meantime before that. So I can't help that you left before that. Did I leave? Ultimately, after they did call the police. But I left. Right, but they tell you told you the first time, and you continue to stay. I was asking them questions, and I was telling them that I have the right to record in this facility. Okay. I, people don't are not aware of their rights, but I'm standing up for our rights. Okay.
and so what so what is your plan like, I, so I like so I go around I go I'm gonna tell you what I do I'm gonna tell you what I do I go around government facilities and I educate people that we have a First Amendment right to record in publicly accessible areas this is a DMV Department of Motor Vehicles it is a public building just because they have signage on the walls it doesn't mean anything it has to be backed by a statue you, if you can show me a statue, actually, you can get on your phone right now and Google. Can somebody record it inside of the MV? Pull it up and look what it says. Okay. What, you, what are you trying to do? I so I'm know. standing up for our rights as citizens. I'm making police uh, officers aware, police departments aware, citizens aware that we have a right to record in publicly accessible areas, letting them know that there's no expe expectation of privacy in public that they're going to be on camera no matter where they go when they come out of their house that expectation of privacy goes away unless you were to go back into a room you know a, a room like a closed door that says like authorized personnel only employees only whatnot there is a door in there that says employees only i can't go yeah uh probably but that's all something that Nothing that a, a normal eye could see. Like you only, your, your stuff is only what we can see. Right, so... It's not intruding on anything further. You're not so have you heard doctrine. of the Plainview Doctrine? You yes. guys actually yes. go against, so, go with that. Question. Yeah. So I anything I pan, anything I can see with my eyes, I can film. So did I zoom in because to what? To a computer or any kind of documentation that had people's names on it. Uh, I might have. I'm not sure. I can't go in and sit across 300 yards and use binoculars looking at your bedroom. You can. It's not that actually legal. No, you it can is. do that. If you are somewhere public, you can do that. You can stand on the sidewalk and record right into somebody's house. That's not against the law. It's not against the law. Not to be able to do that. What law what, what law would that be? That's violating their privacy. <laughs> what law? You're trespassing. No. You are. <laughs> Sir, if you're standing on public, how can you be that's trespassing? The best reason why people can't use they can't use, we, even though we cannot use drones to go above people's fences to then look into their backyard, look in their houses, because they have an expectation of privacy. What about helicopters? What about helicopters? They're recording. Not all helicopters do. Police helicopters do. So you guys are if telling me. zooming in, if they are zooming in. And they do. Okay, zooming in in someone else, in someone's house. Correct. Without authority. Yes, Correct. That is a violation. That's <laughs> It's, it's not. That's why they do it. I can fly a drone over your house. I can fly the drone anywhere. I can't do it like over the arts or anything because that's a national monument. I know what I'm doing, sir. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm this not, isn't my I'm first sorry. time I doing this. Not. Hey, you're well yeah. That. So that's why I'm asking the question. Yeah. So anything I can see with my eyes, I can film. If I zoom in, I can film it. Why? Because I can see. You have my recording. Okay, here. I'm talking about dry. So how how can you zoom in? And going further, more in depth, using this and binoculars. Because these are function with that ability. Okay. If I could do it with my eyeballs, I could do it. We cannot do it. <laughs> you can't. You can't do it with your eyeballs. But you, what if you have glasses on? What, if, what about that? What if you can see further than a normal eye could see with your glasses? Okay. Is that against the law? Well, that's that's up to interpretation. What's normal? <laughs> What's normal? I don't have a hundred times zoom on my eyes, and no one that I know has that. Right. But this is an extension of your body. The camera, it records it's things. It's actually electronic. So if you were to hit this out of my hand, I could charge you for assault. Why? Because it's, it's an extension of my hand. You're actually wrong. You're charging me now. Okay. In Missouri, it, in Missouri. Yeah, I was, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was wrong there. I was wrong there. It would be battery. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. It would be battery. You're correct. I would talk to them and just because they can just talk to them and see if there's It's not me. You're not wrong. cooperating. It's me standing up for my rights and what's right. Talk to them and then I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Good with that? Yep. All right. All right, guys. So uh, let's walk around here. Oh, I'm being detained. Am I being detained? That's an important question you have to answer. Am I be? Am I being detained? You can investigate the grass. You can investigate the grasshopper. So am I being detained? I've already explained it to you. You didn't. You didn't. All right, guys. This tyrant right here. You're going to look good on the internet, by the way. No, you look stupid. That's what you look. That's why you don't have any rank. You're laughing, but it's true, and you're not going to get ranked. People are going to bomb you guys on the freaking internet. 
You'll see. Step back away from our officer, sir. I'm not. Further on safety. Step back over here. I'm in public, outside. I know, but you cannot approach your rear end. I'm literally right here. Step back over away from there. I'm asking you. Where, you where do you want me to stand? Right, right where you were at. Where I literally took two steps. And you went two steps towards them. So when they're in the line at McDonald's, do you tell people behind them to back up? When they have their backs to them? Yes. No, that, that's not a law. Thank you. It's an officer safety. Thank you. Officer safety is in the law. Sir. I'm outside on public sidewalk. You can't tell me where I can stand. Sir, I, here's the thing. Like, I, I no, it's it's the stupidity that I'm hearing out of your guys' mouths. It's sir, stupid. I appreciate, like I said, if you just just give me some kind of courtesy and not come up right behind. Am I? Hey, am look I, at this. Hey, sir, I'm good with that. Am I saying you need to move? He, he was. Okay, it's because you were going to walk. Here, no, I literally so stood over here. I was walking this way. Citizen, I am uh, making contact. I'm making contact with them to see if there's anything that oh. you did. Because based on what you're telling me, I don't see that you violated any laws. So that's what I'm going to go into. Okay? There's hair flying all over the place. Oh, okay. Yeah, guys, they think so, that... Uh, and actually, let me stand over here. I don't like cops swarming me. Okay. Hey guys, apparently you can't stand, uh, you put your gloves on like you're going to do something. That would be the biggest mistake. Yeah, guys, they think if you uh, zoom in on something that you can't record it, which is uh, the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Uh, that officer also said that we can't fly drones over people's houses. Uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> This guy here had his gloves on like he was going to go hands on or something. Alright guys, I've been detained for five minutes now. Why are you so close to me, man? You walk I, everywhere I walk, you walk. I'm supposed to be on the public sidewalk where I can be. Regardless, nothing. You can tell me to shit on the floor. Do I have to do it? You use profanity. That's very unprofessional. Unprofessional. It's unprofessional for you to detain somebody illegally. But if you guys want a lawsuit, there you go. Granite City Police Department, guys. So she has a problem with me recording, but she doesn't have a problem with them recording, guys. She's talking about I'm recording her kids, and uh, first off, I would never just go and zoom in on a kid's face or anything like that. That's not what I'm trying to do. But I guess she has a problem with my camera, but not theirs. What sense does that make? Sergeant, if I were you, I, I would go in there and educate them. It, it's not one person comes out at a time. Make it simple. Go in there. Let them know what I'm doing. And it, it's that simple. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk to the lady. Because I don't want to. They, they 
lot of people don't like dealing with the police. And so if I go in there, that's going to disrupt their customers. I don't want to do that. So I mean, you're you're going, you're telling her to go in there, and, no, I mean, and basically that's what is, she said that there was a new people on the plane. Man, it's windy as shit. So, um, so, um, so I that, that's the reason why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Usually when Mr. cops show up to Mr. the... Good yeah, season. yeah. Um, all they're asking is that you stay out here and you don't use curse words. Okay, I understand you said windy ass and you use a curse word. So yeah, it's part of our... If, yeah, but if people are hearing that and they're offended by that, it's not even a curse Profanity and, and swearing is not yeah, that, sort of a con. Anything could offend people. You're That's right. why they have laws. You're right, I know that. I mean, you couldn't you're do right. anything. You're I can I can, I can yell. I'm not. I'm standing I'm up first. Yep, yep, go ahead. I'm 100% on your side here. You're standing out here. You're not 100% on my I side, so you or else you would this, let me go just, in there. Just don't be cursing. That's all I'm asking. You. But yeah. what if I did curse? What and would be the repercussions? Wants to sound a complaint, disorder, a disorder. Because you alarm them based on your presence and your cursing. That's not how the law kids, works. It actually is. No, it's not. It is. No, it's it is. not. Do you have any other questions? I'll be going to your department to file complaints, so for yeah, I'll be over there. For what? For, oh, you guys just kicked me out of a public building, absent of a crime. So, okay, what else? Anything else? Uh, I'll write what I please. Okay. All right, we're going to leave there. Yeah, yeah. So just stay out here. Okay, Mr. Citizen? Yes? And if I go back in there? They've asked you not to come in there. But they can't just kick people out because they have feelings. You guys are missing it. Everything, everything has to be a law. But what happens if I go back in there? I'm asking you as the officer, you enforce the laws. I'm just recording what's on the walls. Like the public information. So why would I have to leave the facility? Because they're asking you not to. They could ask me to poop on their floors. Do I have to do it? No. Exactly. They're asking me to leave a public facility. That's I haven't caused argument. any. This it's not. It is. They're. Why you're would, asking me. Why would any business ask you to poop on the floors? But why are they asking me to leave? Because they don't. You're doing that. You're making the people in their own company. Everybody has feelings. You don't go by feelings. You have to go by the law. Correct. So, uh, so they were just asking that you not go back. In there. But I'm going to. And you said you're a good citizen. Right? Yeah, my okay. name is Good Citizen. So, That's what I go by. Right. So you're not a good citizen. I am a good citizen so for standing up our rights. Good citizen, these people are requesting you don't. Sir, do you're being a feelings enforcement right now, though. I'm just you're saying you're a good citizen. I'm just asking you not to do it. That's all. Okay. Why haven't you guys Googled? Can a person go inside the DMV and record? It's that because simple. Just, just Google what it. You told me, sir, based on what you're saying, I don't think you violate any laws. So you agree that I'm allowed to go in there and record? I, based on what you told me, you're not but do you you agree that I have a right to record inside of the public building? Based on certain things, yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm comfortable with that. So why would I have to leave if I need to finish my... All right, how about this? I go in there, I pan the rest on the walls, I'm not recording anybody, I record... Ma'am, you can't just you can't just restrict people in a, in a public building. Same do this. I'll tell you what, sir. If you want, uh, file a complaint against the uh, driver. What's your name? What? What's your first and last name? It's all public information. I'm going to get it either way. It's Missy. Missy. I'm not giving you my last name. Okay. Can I, have a, uh, can I actually have a public records request, a FOIA request? I don't know. You would have to go. I think you have to, correct me if I'm wrong, you may, I think you have to go through uh, Secretary of State to do that. I can do that in their facility, and then they, I would write what I need, and they would forward it to whoever it needs to go okay. to. Well, you just ask that. I say, once again, you're, you're dealing with So I get, they give me a blank sheet of paper. I write it down. They timestamp sure comp. I'm letting you know how it works. What, okay, 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 okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. All right. So, can I record or? <laughs> no, I have some cars that please come in here. Okay. So, yeah. What? what if you don't Thank need anything else, I'm going to go out and finish. finish All right, guys. So, uh, uh, I'm going to be going over to the department here and filing some complaints. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take off out of here. Thank you so much. 
right guys, so uh, our rights were violated today for sure. They wouldn't even let me speak. They were interrupting me left and right. We got uh, this officer, uh, Dumbo over here. He's probably been with the department for 30 years and doesn't have any rank. Drive a shame. Yeah, he wouldn't tell me if I went back inside if uh, if they would arrest me or not. Um, so she, the lady did say the secretary of police is coming here. Uh, hopefully that officer uh, educates them. So yeah, guys, I'm going to stick around here for a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Like I said, not a problem. I just, you know, yeah. like I said, I just wanted to, you know, let them know, like, yeah. you know, like, based on, I mean, like I said, if you would have said otherwise, right. you're like up in this dude's face yeah, and he's like, you like, step away from yeah. him. Yeah, but he's not. So, right. you know. And I don't said, want to get punched. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, I think I would just, like I said, just like anything, I think I would respect people's boundaries. Yeah, so I said I'm not even yeah. going over there because yeah. just in case somebody did go over there to test, yeah. I don't want to, you know, right. disturb them, so. Okay. I, I kind of just stayed in this area, so. okay. Alex, and I was getting out of the way of the people that's coming. Fine. In, so. I, I'm I'm good with that. Yeah. Um, I'm about to leave. As soon as you leave, fine. I'm out. So. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm I'm. I just told this guy I'd come talk to him. Okay, after I'm leaving so. now. Man. All right. Appreciate you. Yeah. Hey, bro. Nice to meet you. Yep. You too. All right, guys. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Do you mind if I, can I get your last name? Uh, I don't want to give my last name. Yeah. Just, you'd give me a phone call. Yeah, yeah. Well. No, because. Because really all I'm going to do is I'm going to document that. Yeah. Talk to you that based on what you were doing, you were not violating any law. Right. So that way, if someone else comes to deal with you, you yeah. understand, like, hey, this has already been taken care of. This right. has already been addressed. He's not. Been, yeah. Well, you're the sergeant. I'm pretty sure. Are you the only sergeant on duty right no, now? Not. Oh, you're not? Okay. I didn't know how big your department was. But, uh, yeah, if you just. I mean, you guys usually write in your computer systems, hey, this guy's doing this or whatnot. Yeah, the, the problem is, is I don't know, like, because you're not giving your name. Right, right. I don't know who you are. Just put Alex, good ci or good citizen, man. I just don't give out my full name unless I've, you know, done a crime and I had to give you that, my name, so. That's what I'm yep. That. yep. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> thank you. Hey, thank you for educating them. Day, yep, man. you too. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> thankfully the wind died down when we came back out here, but... Uh, he went in there and educated them. Uh, let me turn this camera around, actually. All right, guys. So uh, that sergeant did come back, caught me off guard, actually, and uh, said that he would go back there and, and educate them. I wonder if he called somebody. He said he didn't. But, um, I mean, he went in there and told that lady that I wasn't being disorderly or there was nothing that he could do or that I was actually allowed to be in there and record. Um, he told that lady with the red dress that... Uh, just because she had feelings, I mean, he couldn't enforce those feelings. So, I mean, it was it was kind of a uphill, downhill battle uh, with this police department here in this facility. Um, the Secretary of State is still coming out of here, um, the police officer, but I'm not going to stick around for that. I uh, don't need to speak with him. 
Um, so yeah, guys, I would say this is a win for our rights here. Uh, it was an ugly one, but thank you guys for sticking around if you made it to, the, to this point of the video. Uh, I don't know how the quality is going to be because it's so windy out here, but we're going to try to make the audio a little bit better for you guys. Uh, so yeah, guys, until next time. Peace.